Hi, you welcome to the Nigeria Pharmacy YouTube channel. My name is Lamini Adewale. To become a millionaire in Nigeria, you have to start doing something differently. And that's why we started raising Noela Bets. Our Noela Bets have been on this farm on full range for almost a year now. And they've been linked since the clock five months. They've been giving us eggs, eggs every day. Now, you notice that they started reducing their number due to some climatic conditions and disease. So there is a need for us to multiply the numbers of Noela beds that we have in farm. That is the reason why we started storing their eggs. But you know, the hatchability of eggs depends on how early it's been moved to the incubator. Now, the moment an egg has passed 10 days of being on head, the hatchability or the fertility will have reduced to an extent that even if you have it, it might not do well or it might not even hatch at all. So that is why we started storing our fresh egg. This is just like two days egg, storing our first egg and then we actually wanted to buy incubator online but the price is very high so we want to build our own incubator and i've ordered a few items from aliexpress this is our egg now we have this touch light we'll be using this to check if the egg is fertile or not i ordered it from aliexpress and this is it, this touch light. So, then, another thing I ordered is temperature humidity meter. You can use this to check the temperature of the incubator. You can use it to check the humidity of the incubator. It has time, it has clock, whereby you can see the time. It has date, whereby you can see if you are the type that is not a phone. So it will be the moment you set the date, then you be able to access it. So there is nothing uh, so uh, advanced about this thing. It's just the temperature meter with uh, it uses a battery, just one a battery. It uses just one a battery, but it is important to change the a battery every five five days so that it will not be giving you wrong readings so the only thing we need to do is suspend this wire inside the incubator then have this one on top of the incubator so it has a leg it has a leg it has a leg that you can use so this leg so you place it so that you can see what you are doing so and when you want to take the leg down be very careful so that you know break the leg then Another thing that you need when you want to build your own incubator is you need a pen. Very necessary. So you use it to draw the layout of your incubator. The measurement I have here, I have my length, the height to be two feet. I have the height to be two feet. Then I have the top the top length to be 1.23 feet. You can make your own to be bigger than that but in order for the heat to circulate very well so that's why i want the incubator to be small so that any uh, when i put my oil lamp inside it will the temperature will circulate on time and there is this thing that i can still do to make the temperature circulate very well which is putting small fan inside so the small the fan might be using solar. So I can I will set it up with solar. If there is a need, I'll put small fan inside. Then I will set it up with solar panel. So during the day the fan will be running, but in the night the fan will not run. So the second day the fan will continue running. So now this is the measurement we have on ground for our our incubator. Now another two the tools that you need for your incubators, they are the necessary tools that i have here number one i have my saw so i have my saw here so this saw i inherited it so i have my saw here so i think i met 
I've inherited this sauce since 2001 or so. So I have my saw here. Another thing you need is you need cutlass. You need cutlass. So cutlass. So cutlass is like 5,000 naira. I'm not sure now in Nigeria. So you need armor. Very necessary. You need armor. So you need nail. You need uh, nail remover. You know, this armor does not have nail remover. I have my nail remover inside. So you need nail remover for removing your nails. And uh, you need metal rule. This one, you will use it to measure. This one is your measurement. You use it to measure. Measure like this one now. This is the length, which is two feet. Then it's two feet to use it to measure and those are the things that you need they are not something that are very expensive these whole tools now in nigeria ten thousand naira will get you everything so but when you want to build make sure there is no ear entering the incubator so don't let me dig don't let me digress too much on this uh explanation of the tools measuring your plank please make sure you don't hurt yourself with this thing because if you make any mistake then blood will gush out so just make sure you don't you don't do that so we need four of this so if you stand like this we need four of this we have two already that means we need two more So the four that I just finished cutting is this one, 1.19. So we have 1.1 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have this to be 1, 1, 2, 3, the one here, 4. Then it remains 1.23 feet. So 1.23 feet. We need four of 1.23 feet or so, making four plus four eight, making 12, making 12 that we need. Then we need one inside. So the lantern will stay here. Then the X tray will be there. So we can have as many as X tray that we want. So don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, oh, subscribe. Share these videos with your friend. Let's go. Let's go and cut 1.23 feet. We have 1.19 feet. This is 1.19 feet. Four of it. We have 1.23 feet. This is 1.23 feet. We have four of it. We have two feet. We have four of it. So these are the Let's confirm it. 1.23. 1.23. Exactly 1.23. Let's confirm this one. 1. 1. 1.19, which is 1.19. Then 1.19. So let's confirm this one. We have two feet. We have two feet. We have two feet. So two feet. One, two, three, four. 1.1 1.23 1 2 3 4 then 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.19 1.
1.19134. What other thing do we need? We need two more of two feet in order to demarcate the inside. So we use it to demarcate where the latter oil lamp will be and where the egg will be. So that means we don't want to put the lantern under the egg. So we want it to be at at uh, on a side on inside uh, at a side. Then uh, our egg egg uh, here will be at the other side. So let's go. Let's uh, join these things together. Let's make the frame. So this is the layout, and uh, we're going to be making it now. This is what I've been able to come up with since the morning that I've been on this locally made kerosene incubator. We have our egg tray here. This is what will be our egg tray. So we we'll use something to line it up on that, maybe with net, iron net, so that the heat will be able to penetrate it very well. So this is going to be our egg tray. This is the egg tray one. So it's because I'm tired, that's why I use this thing to make it. So it will also work. Egg tray one. We have our egg tray one here, egg tray two, and egg tray three. So we are less of materials. That's why I'm not able to finish with the egg tray three and the, and the door. So this thing is well closed, well lined, that there's no how air can enter or the heat can escape. And if I notice that it wants to escape from anywhere, I have um, top bond. I have top bond. So I will use top bond to secure everywhere where it can come in or go out from. So this is where we put our uh, oil lamp. This is where we put our oil lamp, which will be giving us the heat. So then we can. So uh, if the heat is not uh, circulating the way it's also circulate, then I will use fan. I will use fan, like I said in the. Uh, video that I did in the morning when I was about to start this thing. We use fan and use solar to make the fan work. When the fan, the fan will be working throughout the day, then in the night the fan will be off because solar cannot generate light during the night. So it works with it. So the fan will be here and the heat will be circulating. Then we'll put our, our, our thermometer in a way that the thermometer will be able to sense whatever is going on inside here. And it will give us accurate reading for the tray one, tray two, and tray three. And the thermometer will be up here so that anybody that is passing by will quickly know and quickly see if there is a change in heat, so that we will know how to uh, manage the heat and reduce the temperature. Then, what else do you need to know? This is well made, it's very solid, as you can see. It is very solid and the structure is something that you can, if you, if you sit on it, it will accommodate you. So it's very solid and uh, the materials I use plus everything that I use, they, they are very solid. And our trays, they are very solid and uh, they fit in perfectly. So if you are joining for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our video, share it with your friend, 
And when I checked the analysis, I realized that 90% of the people that have been watching our video has not been subscribing, which post uh, that it does not look well. Please, if you are joining for the first time, I'm begging you, subscribe to this YouTube channel, share it with your friend. If you have any help that you want to render to us, or you have any correction that you want to make concerning this thing, please share it. Because the reason why we make it to be so, so short like this is because we want a better each circulation and uh, want to achieve optimum uh, hatch ability with our uh, incubator. So this is kerosene lamp incubator and uh, we showing you the process we've used to build it. So we only thing we remaining is to put the door, then do the third, uh, the third egg uh, tree, then put the necessary material inside. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our video. If you have any comments, you can comment. If you want to talk to us, we are available. You can see our number on our description, the channel description, so you will quickly reach us out from there. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye-bye.